as the question says figure shows a 11.7 feet wide ditch with the approach roads at an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal with what minimum speed should a motorbike be moving on the road so that it safely crosses the ditch assume that the length of the bike is 5 feet and it leaves the road when the part runs out of the approach road now if we assume this much length to be of the bike and it will be here on the other side when it reaches like this we can easily see from this figure that the range becomes 11.7 plus 5 people often mistake that they either add 10 over here that is 5 plus 5 or they have of it that is 2.5 because they assume that it will be reaching when the and balancing itself when half of the bike will be on this part but go according to the question they haven't mentioned that it will balance at the half of its length so you have to consider the full length of the bike also you will not be adding 5 plus 5 that is 10 in the horizontal range why because consider a single point let us see this point it will be going from here to here adding up the distance becomes this 5 11.7 and this that is 5 you can also consider the back one point it is covering the 5 over here and then the 11.7 and no further distance so each point on the bike covers a distance of 11.7 plus 5 that is this becomes a horizontal distance that it covers also we know that g is 9.8 in si systems but it is also equals to 32.2 feet per second square further we have the formula of range for the projectile motion which is r equals to this is u square sin 2 alpha upon g where alpha is the angle of projection so u square here comes out to be rg over sin 2 alpha putting the values in this formula we get 16.7 into 32.2 over half giving us a value of 32 feet per second thus this is the minimum speed with which the motor bike should be moving in order to cross this ditch since we know that range is proportional to u square any you more than this will be able to move the bike from this side to this side